Staff need to think about the person because we're a person-centred trust and trauma-informed and positive behaviour support trust. If they would only have knowledge of every patient through the good day, bad day, the one-page profile and the important to and important for, which would show all the signs so they could take in account any difficulties and that's produced by the person themselves. So they produce it when they're well. When they're unwell, it's there for nurses to know what their past history is. I was sectioned in Bohemia Hospital. I had scalded the back of my hand with hot water from the kettle and I wouldn't allow anyone to see it because of my illness. So when I was in with the doctor, she was asking me to look at my hand and I kept saying no. Eventually she got to look at my hand, which was like a mound, which was a blister. And I wanted to pick it and the doctor did repeat to me a number of times that she couldn't allow me to pick the blister. One, because of it being open wound and it being infectious airborne. But obviously, due to my ill health, I refused and the alarm. And staff came in and they had to restrain me. But they did it in a subtle way. When I was restrained, it was explained why. I think they'd done everything spot on because it's safeguarding they had to safeguard myself and other people and they had to bandage it and although I was fighting they still respected me and once my hand was bandaged then that was it with the doctor couple of minutes later because I was irate that they had done wrong by bandaging my hand. They took me to my bedroom and they wanted me to take lorazepam but I refused and I was asked two or three times by a member of staff that if you don't take it orally then we will have to inject it. And I was still adamant that there was no way I was going to take lorazepam, which at this time had been risk assessed and four or five staff came around my bed in the bedroom and restrained me so that the nurse could inject the lorazepam in my backside. But that restraint was the total opposite to the subtle restraints I had before because I felt it violated my space and due to the fact that I've had the history of sexual abuse then I was traumatised because my head just went back as if the abuse was happening there and then. It was just over restraint. There was no communication as in the previous one when I was restrained in with the doctor. There was too many people restraining me. I was only told that if I didn't take my lorazepam, then I'd have to have an injection. There was no explanation for the three, four staff that was holding me down while I was being injected, which it totally violated what I thought was my rights and is an area that needs to be looked at because of re-traumatisation. It wasn't about me, it was about them administering the injection.